Hey everyone, welcome to the Acrylic Asylum. I'm Mike Ferris, and in this painting lesson, I'm showing you how I paint this bokeh out of focus piece step by step. So make sure you stay tuned to the end so you don't miss any of the lesson details, and check out the description box below for a list of colors and materials. So to get started with my palette knife now, I just want to mix up some phthalo blue, some permanent black, and titanium white here on my palette. So just a little bit of black there, mostly blue, and just a teeny bit of this titanium white just to bring it up at just a hair. And I'll just wipe this off from my knife here. And now with my little roller brush here, I love this thing, I can just cover the canvas really nice and smooth. And so I'm just going to roll this in and just cover this up, and I am going to be using a lot more paint than I put on my palette and I don't want to really have to sit and mix it all up. So to save time, I'm going to just put just some phthalo blue on my canvas directly and a little bit of black. And I'm just going to do one squirt of white like so. And I'm just going to take my roller now and just kind of mix all that together right here on my canvas. This is an 11 by 14 inch pre-stretched canvas that I'm using. And I'm just going to cover everything and even do the borders as well. So now I have two papers taped seam to seam and cut to my 14 by 11 inch canvas and I'm using one inch squares here as you can see. And I've got them numbered vertically and horizontally to lay out my proportionate shapes here. And so with the wax transfer paper and a stylus I did trace it out. And I did put a short video in the description box that shows more information on how to transfer images to your canvas there. So now on my palette I've got some titanium white, some portrait pink, some raw umber, permanent black, some phthalo blue, phthalo green, cad orange, some violet, and ultramarine blue. So now just taking some of this portrait pink and just a little bit of this raw umber to it and that's just to dull it down and with this I'm just going to start blocking in some of the figures of the people walking downtown. So now going from my number 20 to my number 10 flat brush and I'm just going to pick up some permanent black and just fill in some areas here and there. So now I just want to take this dark color now and lightly drag it over and in this way I'm creating a fuzzy line effect and sort of kind of a blended look to this and this is what bokeh is all about. It's about taking these lines and making them fuzzy and blending stuff together by using very little pressure on the brush. So some permanent black in some places now again and now I want to take some matte medium and just shake it up a little bit and I'm going to put it in a separate container from my palette because it does run like water and I don't want it dripping off of course so now I'm going to take some of this portrait pink and again touch of that raw umber to it and most of that color off my brush and I want to go into this matte medium now and I just want to start applying some of these starts of bokeh lights that are transparent.
So no cleaning yet and some cad orange and again a touch of raw armor to that. And now some portrait pink into that. And a little bit of titanium white to bring it up just a bit. So with this different value now I want to go on the sleeve here and I want to scratch that down the side like so. And then I want to dust it out using very little pressure on my brush and I want to leave the sides of his sleeves as well as all the other figures very fuzzy and no solid lines whatsoever because then I'll lose that blurry effect. So no cleaning yet and some portrait pink. Again, touch of raw umber, this time no titanium white. And with this darker value now, just gonna scratch it in on his body here and there and just kind of show some clothes detail. Okay, now grabbing some portrait pink now, and this time lightening it up with some more titanium white and a lighter value right here. Okay, now portrait pink again, and this time some cat orange into that with that raw umber touch to it. And with this little slight variation, let's do the clothes on this figure here. So I like to vary my values and if you've seen my other videos, you know I talk a lot about values playing together and everything not being the same exact color. Because again, that'll bring a flat, boring painting if there's no change in values playing together. So I like to vary the colors. And that just shows light hitting and shadows hitting. And it just brings out the depth and dimension a lot better that way. So now I'm just kind of dragging the rest of that color out as you saw there and just creating some of this cloudy sort of just fuzzy look. And this is creating more of this blurry effect. Okay, without cleaning my brush now, grabbing a little bit more raw umber and some portrait pink again. And with this darker value, I wanna go in here between these two figures here and create somewhat of a shadow there. And it's like a separation going on. And again, I wanna fuzz that out. I don't want solid hard lines. And I'm gonna drag that color here and there and make some more bokeh stuff now. Okay, so now some permanent black. And I wanna take that now and just sort of define some stuff here and there and rediscover some of the heads that I lost here on some of the figures there. So as I redefine the head now, I just kind of want to go in the center here, and as I drag it out, I want to stop short of that fuzzy stuff so that I don't lose the blurry bokeh effect. So with that same portrait pink mixture there, I'm going to add some titanium white and this is just going to show some city lights that are playing off his back here. Now with a clean brush, grabbing violet now and just a touch of blur ah, permanent black and a little bit of titanium white to bring that up. I want to take this dull violet color now and I just kind of want to brush that down, making this little odd shape here and also make a few bokeh lights with this color as well. So now portrait pink mixture again, a touch of that raw umber and some permanent, uh, some titanium white. And I'm gonna put those values here and there. 
And so out here a little bit, this is going to be somewhat of a crowd in the distance walking down the street. And some more of these garments that people are wearing. So now cad orange and just a teeny bit of phthalo blue to dull it down. And this is going to create this dull orange color and now titanium white to bring that up. And now some matte medium to that to make that color transparent. And I want to start with these bokeh lights and I can do some finger painting if I tap it like so it'll make more transparency happen. And then with my finger I can go around the edge and sort of fuzz out the edge like so. So finger painting definitely is allowed in the acrylic world just so you know. And I'm just kind of looking for something like this. So up close now I just want to show you all the different effects going on here. We've got these fuzzy lines created by using very light pressure with my brush and then you've got matte medium to make these transparent bokeh lights and then some solid colors in the middle of all that. And so with all of that, that just all comes together to really give this blurry effect. So now I've just got some permanent black and I'm lightly just applying some more distant heads here and just giving some more crowd details. Now with a clean brush I'm going to grab some phthalo green and I want just a touch of this raw umber into it to dull it down just a bit and then some titanium white and now I want to take some of this matte medium into it to of course make it transparent again and with this value let's make a bokeh light. So without cleaning my brush now, just grabbing titanium white and I want to come in here and brighten some of these up. So with my clean brush now, some cad orange and portrait pink together, and just a teeny bit of that color on my brush, let's go in here and mix some more with those. Okay, now grabbing phthalo green and just a touch of that raw armor to dull it down and titanium white to bring it up. And let's create some more bokeh stuff with that. So now I've got on here some cad yellow and now to that, a teeny bit of this raw umber to it. 
and a little bit of cat orange as well. And I want this really dull muted color, so let's grab some titanium white because I do want it light. So this is just going to kind of be somewhat of a dull off sort of yellowish glow effect base color if you will. And so just going to create all these bokeh lights that are going to be going in a row like here. And they'll be kind of a cluster right here. Okay, with a clean brush now, I'm gonna take this ultramarine blue now and this yellow. This changes the value of this green, and then I'm gonna put some phthalo green into there to make it more vibrant. And now white to bring it up a little bit. And again, matte medium to make this transparent, and let's make some with this. So no cleaning yet because I want to take that value now with some titanium white and make it brighter now. And as I go in there I don't want to cover up all that faded color because then I'll lose that blurry bokeh effect with that faded stuff going on. So as you can see I'm not taking it all the way over and I'm leaving that stuff to show through. So with a clean brush now, some portrait pink, a little white, and a touch of that raw umber, and I want some of that value under here and very lightly because I want it more of a transparent color. So with a clean brush now, phthalo blue and phthalo green together, and some titanium white. I want this really vibrant turquoise color now. And I want to apply that on some of these top ones here. And I don't want to cover all that up there. And also on the sides of this very light stuff here, I want to start creating this glow effect. So just again, barely dragging that over. Notice my bristles don't bend at all. I'm just blending and fuzzing that over and that creates a very nice glow and in turn that makes these city lights look even brighter. 
So now I'm going to get some of this cad yellow again and this time phthalo blue into there instead of ultramarine blue and that changes it to a more vibrant green. And with this let's make some other stuff right here. So without cleaning, titanium white to lighten it up and more pressure in the middle where I want it brighter. And then as I come out to the outsides, very, very light pressure, no bending of the bristles. And I create this glow, blurry, fuzzy line effect like so. And now phthalo green and phthalo blue. And with this, no titanium white. I just kind of want to do a few things like so and then sort of streak that down kind of do something like that. Now just picking up titanium white to brighten up that color and a couple bokeh lights there. So now with a clean brush going into some of that violet and some black and just a teeny bit of white. I want to take this dull purple now and here and there. So picking up some ultramarine blue now to that color without cleaning and a little titanium white and making a few more lights with this. Okay, going back into some phthalo blue, I'm sorry, some phthalo green. And let's just put one right there. Now just grabbing some cad orange now and a teeny bit of raw umber, some white. And let's go with that and make some lights with that. with a clean brush now going into phthalo blue just doling it down a little bit with some black and titanium white and I want it with a little bit more color into there so a little bit more black a little bit more phthalo blue now and with this duller vibrant sort of blue I want to take now and start making these indications of sort of a distant building with some faded lights in the background I'm just taking some permanent black now and I kind of want to go back and knock some of this back a little bit. So now again, grabbing more of that green with that phthalo blue and yellow. And you know, with these colors, you really can make these anything you want. This is no right or wrong, actually. You can pick entirely different colors if you want. The whole point is to make the effects and have the variety and the values playing together. And this can be in any color you want because you're just playing with filters at that point. A picture is a picture and whatever you decide to do, as long as these methods are applied, it'll come out great. So have fun and experiment. So I'm taking phthalo green, phthalo blue, some white. And I just kind of want to go in here now. Make that a little bit more vibrant. And also over here a little bit. Okay, with a clean brush now, just pure titanium white. And I want to go back in here and I want to make this really, really bright. And again, I don't want to cover up all that nice glow and all that fuzzy out of focus effect that I put down. 
So in the acrylic world, when you're painting, always remember, you know, when you're doing something and you put some color on top of another, you always, always want to let the other values involved show through and be involved with the other colors because, again, one color is just boring, flat. <laughs> and so with realism, you really want all the different differences. The different differences, how about that? <laughs> Uh, I crack myself up sometimes. So anyways, uh, more titanium white. And again, leaving that glow, not covering all that up. That's the point I was trying to make. And over here as well. And this will create a very nice, bright, out of focus light there. So with that white now, just taking it and applying that same method and brightening some things up. Okay, now let's take some of that portrait pink. Again, a touch of that raw umber, some titanium white. A little cat orange may be involved a little bit. Like I said, these colors, there's no right or wrong. It's all about the effects, really. Colors are your choice. So let's go in here now and apply some of this color. And even tap that out and fuzz it out. Okay, now I'm taking phthalo blue, some titanium white. I did clean my brush. And let's make another one with this value. Okay, now with a clean brush, some cat orange, and just some titanium white. Nothing to dull it down this time. I want this more vibrant, bright orange. And again, not covering all that up. And I'll bring it down here and on this one as well. Okay, now with permanent black, I'm just gonna hit this little shape here, kind of projects into these lights a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of hit some of the heads in the distant crowds here. So now with a clean brush, taking titanium white and again putting more pressure where I want the color the brightest and then using light pressure around the edges. And now with yellow and some white already involved, I want to take just the edge of my brush and barely scratch that over and I want to create this bright glow effect here and this will just bring out the brightness of this even more. Okay, with a clean brush now, pure titanium white, and again, more pressure, I want it the brightest, and very, very little pressure as I dust it out. 
Okay, now with a clean brush now, I have on my palette some primary red. And I'm just going to take straight primary red for now. And let's make some bokeh lights with that. Okay, no cleaning now, and a little bit of red, and now this time titanium white. Let's make this brighter now, and let's go back in. So now grabbing more titanium white and I want it more bright. And as you can see these ones actually do have solid lines so if you've ever looked at bokeh pictures before some of these bokeh lights have solid lines and this is what creates that realistic effect is that you have some that are blurry some that have fuzzy edges and then of course some that have solid lines so again this is just more variety this is more interest and again more realism that's added to this. Okay, a little bit of white on that one and now with a clean brush pure titanium white and I'm going to start with the very brightest part of this light and then I'll create a glow around that one. Okay and with some white left on my brush I'm going to go in and start brightening up this cluster here and again I don't want to cover up all that color underneath. Now just pure titanium white and I'm just looking to brighten this up and again not cover up all that glow effect. So with that white left on my brush, what I want to do now is drag it out to the sides and check out how this makes this glow effect past that solid white. And by using very, very little pressure, you can see right through this and this is what creates that out of focus as well as that glow to making this look even brighter.
Okay, and same method over here with that white left on my brush. Gonna take and drag it out for that fuzz, yeah, for that blurry, brighter look. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now I wanna get that bright, vibrant turquoise color. That's thalo blue and green and some white. And I wanna drag that into this fuzzy glow that I just made and add a little color to that for some interest on that glow. Okay, so with a clean brush down, I'm gonna get some violet, some ultramarine blue, a little bit of white. And that makes it a little bit more vibrant. And right here, I want this one to be solid. And right here, a little bit more white into that value to make this one brighter. Okay, phthalo blue, phthalo green, some white, and let's make some bokeh lights with this. Okay, now let's pick up some titanium white without cleaning. Let's brighten some of these up. Okay, now taking that cad yellow and phthalo blue, making this more vibrant green color, and let's make those bokehs up there. And now without cleaning, just taking some titanium white, let's brighten those up. Okay, with a clean brush now, taking titanium white and just going in the center here and lightly dusting out. And again, not covering up all that wonderful effect that we created. Okay, now going into portrait pink again. And just with that, I'm gonna go in here and just sort of deepen this color. And notice I'm not going out to the edges, I'm just hitting just the center like so. And I'll just go ahead and just fill in some more of this here in that same way. Okay, going back to our trio of colors, there's that portrait pink, a little bit of that raw umber, and some titanium white, and again, some more stuff with that. Okay, with some of that orange color left on my brush, let's go in here now, and just in between some of these lights on this bottom row here, I just kind of want to take and mix some of this light that's kind of peeking through here. And let's take some more of that down here. And now titanium white to brighten up some stuff. And just kind of want to sneak some of this glow color in between some of these.
Okay, so after some white and just brightening some things up, I'm gonna take the rest of it now and just streak through those bokeh lights now. That just adds more interest to the eye. Okay, now a clean brush and pure titanium white. I wanna go in and reinforce this and make this as bright as I can. Okay, taking that light turquoise color now, phthalo green and blue and some white, and just gonna lightly dust that towards the center of the white and not take it too far in, and I'm creating this nice bright glow around it. Okay, with a clean brush now, taking pure titanium white, and now I really wanna get in here and of course not cover everything up as always and make things as bright as I can possibly get them. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna take my script liner brush now, lots of water and titanium white. I'm gonna sign this piece right here. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in. And if you found this lesson fun and enjoyable and all that, then do subscribe so you don't miss any of the free lessons I'll be putting out on a weekly basis. And drop the questions and comments if you have any down below. And until next time, happy painting everyone.